Okay, so here we have the old copper bag on the inside there, imported from wherever at 4%. Here we have a copper coin. See, the whole idea of this experiment is to demonstrate how much electricity we can actually get out of uh, a can, an aluminum can. Obviously, this is a bit smaller than this, that one. However, by dropping in this coin here, you might be able to add the electrons with it, add the amount of electrons to it. Either you can drop it in, but drop it just uh, in between these two magnets which you can see here and by drawing them together so it's not entirely copper which is why it's sticking the old coins work better so as you can see with this side let's just say that's positive I'm not really sure on which side it is but either way it's one polarity but as you can tell here this is either going to oppose or attract and uh, as you can see by the movement, it's propelled. And as the friction goes around, and as the magnet gets stronger, these are the electrons within way up. It's going a bit awkward. just be able to hold this here and the friction itself will extend the polarity so it's all massive patience really I mean this should demonstrate some sort of um, observable notice because the can is filled up with water hydrogen and oxygen and if I pause the video and increase the friction to it I can demonstrate here yeah, I'm back demonstrating the range of the polarity it is much greater than once it was <coughs> than what it once was and from what I can see there is no more hydrogen than what there is it doesn't seem to be boiling or anything but you can see that there's magnets in there in which yeah it should Increase the friction between the uh, aluminium. See, aluminium is good, however, it may take a while and quite a bit of friction just to, uh, yeah, get it started. I mean, with the old calculation, mass times acceleration equals more energy equals your energy input but obviously the range here is obviously going to be the same on the outside so like obviously this is so far out it's going to be so far on the other side of the opposing polarity so like as it moves it's kind of pictured as a shadow 
with the magnet the which as it goes up on the other side it goes down and as it goes up it goes down it goes up on the other side and there's basically just friction because there's a polarity well opposing polarity isn't there and it increases it just moves on its own So the idea being, because it's rich with electrons, it can potentially heat up the copper, depending on how much friction you add to it. And as you can see, the coin in itself is moving. Does it appear to bend or anything? No, let me know. You'll have to let me know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to pause this again. So it's a waste of time me doing this really because the whole uh, thing can't really be recorded because I don't have a thermometer. <laughs> so I can't record any temperature increase. However, there is definitely a visible increase of like, the range of the polarity which means the magnet is getting stronger which means there is electricity power in it and as you can see the field is getting stronger whether or not adding the coin did anything just at this moment in time, I don't believe it has. However, the range is being increased. The more you move it, obviously the calculation for speed is uh, what, distance over time which is in terms will be acceleration the mass of the magnet will give off the amount of electricity being given off there is obviously a visible increase here because as you can see it doesn't take as much of a distance to propeller that's because the magnet connected to the carry is stronger because it's connected to the copper or the aluminium gun aluminium aluminum whatever you want to call it and it still doesn't appear that there's any like bubbles or anything so i feel like i'm just wasting time here These little magnets are no much more use as they are together or anything. You're better off getting a wheel, in my opinion, and then just uh, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so here we have the wheel of device I was mentioning, and as you can see, all the leaves are the same polarity opposing this one before as demonstrated that the range has gone a bit more well less so judging by the size of it what it once was it is obviously not as far the range isn't as far but whereas if you keep turning it and turning it, it does gradually increase. So uh, it's quite difficult to record. But as you can see, the polarity does increase. No matter what way you turn it, 
it still moves and the speed is obviously greater because obviously I've got leverage in which I can use more speed to increase the polarity strength and obviously if you have it on a consistent basis you can power the magnet but the magnet connected to the copper to that aluminium can is the magnet being powered and that magnet is getting stronger and obviously because they're distributed the force isn't greater it's pushing back on the wheel a bit more and this should obviously give it a bit more heat theoretically speaking I'm just going to pause this and keep doing this just to give off a bit more heat like this one more minute Right, my phone does not have enough charge for this experiment however the polarity is increasing in the magnet and my hand feels a lot warmer that's just me being honest on an honest basis that's a dog please forgive the background noise there's nothing I can do um, yeah that water doesn't seem to be boiling yet obviously with this you can accelerate it however you want so with the start if you wanted to you could add a bigger magnet which means more of the surface area increasing the uh, polarity and obviously the upkeep of it see the thing is the aluminum the aluminium can isn't the only um, thing heating up this screw is getting rather hot to hold and so is the lid the lid's actually giving off quite a bit of heat right now I can't really demonstrate that right now because as I said I don't have a thermometer and obviously as I pull this uh, backwards and forwards the polarity is pushing it the polarity is actually pushing it towards my fingers I'm only doing a back and forth motion and as you can see it's going towards which is showing that it's getting further and further away and the lid is actually getting rather hot I'm going to have to stop this soon one because my phone is almost about to die and two it's getting a bit hot to handle <laughs> to be honest with you it's definitely a lot warmer and these are just with little magnets so there is energy potential here thank you please like comment I appreciate the comments if you can subscribe I'd appreciate it more I value the comments because I can talk to you <laughs> See where I can go with this. Alright, this is getting actually rather warm. I'm going to stop this now. <laughs> Thank you.